Once the thriving capital of an ancient dwarven civilization, the lost city of Gauntlegrim is now a battleground for level 60 adventurers in Neverwinter. In this epic 40-player endgame event, competing heroes are divided into two factions of 20 and must wage war across three phases, which includes player versus player and player versus environment encounters. Adventurers in Phase 1 must work with their faction and fight through hordes of computer-controlled enemies, accomplishing a number of tasks in preparation for the coming PvP battle. Tasks include collecting elemental fire to light the Grand Forge, defeating Dwergar forces to obtain weapon parts, and more. Every task completed during this timed phase is worth crucial points. The faction with the highest point score at the end of Phase 1 gains a significant advantage, a resilience buff in Phase 2. In Phase 2, the dueling factions directly engage one another in an epic 20 versus 20 domination match. During battle, adventurers may construct catapults to rain down flaming boulders on the opposition, or they may earn the loyalty and fighting prowess of the fire giant Amasud. The primary goal of Phase 2, however, is to control five key points in Gauntlegrim. Adventurers must be cautious when traveling throughout this phase's treacherous landscape, as prowling beholders and ogres lurk around many corners. The victorious faction in Phase 2 reaps greater rewards in the final phase. At the conclusion of the Phase 2 PvP match, the faction with the highest overall score earns the right to enter the Dwarf King's Crypt an epic dungeon that rewards adventurers with Tier 2 equipment, the most powerful in all of Neverwinter. The losing faction is given access to the Far Delver Crypt, which yields Tier 1 rewards. Gauntlegrim is the ultimate endgame challenge, testing adventurers' speed and teamwork. The battles are brutal, and the opposition is relentless. But the rewards are worth the risk for any dedicated adventurer in Neverwinter.